Hey, what are you doing? Oh, well, nothing. Just, uh, just working on my Christmas list. What do you got so far? Not much. Just... Hello and welcome everybody to the Never Empty Bottle. I'm Tyler and today is going to be the last cocktail of our Christmas cocktail series. So it has been great so far. It has been amazing. I've enjoyed this. I love the holiday season. I love, I talked about that in the beginning. The cocktails are the best part. So as sad as I am that this is the last one, I'm happy because that means Christmas is finally here. So let's go ahead and do this with a bang. The cocktail that we're making today is gonna to be Santa's Spiked Milk. So of course, if Santa's coming down the chimney, I've talked about this, he could be a bourbon drinker, he could be a, you know, whatever. We're gonna spike his milk though for all you people who are leaving him milk and cookies still, which good for you because they don't last long in our household. So actually what we need to do with this one is going to put everything in a big old blender and we're gonna get it ready for old Saint Nick. So first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna go four scoops of vanilla ice cream. And I know some of my last couple videos, people are gonna be like, dude, you're putting way too much ice cream in your cocktails. Well, I like ice cream and I have a lot of it. So you know what? Four scoops of ice cream in this cocktail. So this is obviously gonna produce more than just one. At least, I mean, I could probably eat a whole, I could probably eat the rest of this thing. There's three fourths of it. So, you know, to each their own. Ice cream's one of those things that I feel like you could eat a bunch of and you just never quite full from it. My opinion. So four scoops of vanilla ice cream. Ah, I do that every time. So good. Next, we're going to go with two thirds of a cup, and I already pre-measured this out, two thirds of a cup of coconut milk. So we're gonna go ahead and just pour that in. Yeah, does not look tasty yet. Now we're gonna go with two and a half ounces of our dark Gosling's rum here. So it actually only calls for two ounces, but I'm gonna put an extra half in because you know what? We want Santa to go up in that sleigh a little bit boozier than when he came down. So there's two there. And then a half there, a big half. That was a, that was a healthy half of an ounce there. And then now we're gonna go with just a dash of cinnamon. Ooh, that was, that was a dash, I think. I don't know what constitutes a dash. But now we get to blend all this up. Let's get the blender. All right, so we got hooked up to the blender machine here. I'm gonna go ahead and set it for the old uh, frozen drinks and smoothie. I don't know, everyone's got a different blender, so to each their own. If you guys check out uh, Liquid Memoir, his he just got a, a huge blender. That thing is a monster. It'd be like if my blender evolved like Pokemon version, like evolved to the master class blender. That's what he has now. Go check out his channel. He's got a lot of good stuff on there, but massive blender. Goodness, I don't think that was the right setting. That was an eternity. I think I could have just watched the whole first season of anything. That was ridiculous. Okay, so now we got a sexify our glass here. So I just got a nice good old rocks glass here. And we're gonna go ahead and rim it with some honey. And people are probably like, why honey? Because then we're gonna flake it with some shredded coconut. I am not the biggest coconut person, so shredded coconut on this. Um, for me, it's gonna be more for the aesthetic appeal and not so much for the desirable appeal. But that looks pretty freaking sweet. So, now we're gonna open up this beast and we're just gonna pour straight in. Get out of here. Pour straight in. Oh, nice and thick and creamy. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that looks good. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give her a couple of shakes here, the old nutmeg. Yeah. And let's put in a cinnamon stick just because we can. Oh, there we go. And there we have Santa's spiked milk. Whew. 
Yeah. That's really, really good. Kind of reminds you of a little bit of an eggnog feel, but not quite. Uh, really good. That Everything just really smooth, really rich with that ice cream, the coconut milk. Really, really good. Yeah, you can definitely taste that rum in there. I probably put just a smidge too much rum in there. Santa's not going to be flying anywhere. He's going to be passing on your couch with just a sack of other kids' toys waiting under the tree. Oh, that's super tasty though. I really like that. If you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment away as much as you'd like. Again, since this is the end, I bid you adieu, and I hope everyone has the merriest of Christmases ever. Cheers, everybody.